welcome back to my channel. That was so bad. But we're going to leave it in. Okay, so today I am doing a video about makeup. Pretty much it's all of the dumpster dive makeup that I have decided to keep. And pretty much why I've stopped making videos about dumpster diving and dumpster diving makeup. Okay, so I started dumpster diving at the end of last year. And I was doing it for a while. I really liked it. Sometimes I found stuff, sometimes I didn't. Um, I did keep a bunch of stuff that I liked, and then a bunch of it I decided to sell because I had so much makeup. I have accumulated so much freaking makeup that I just don't know what to do with it. I had to buy containers to, like, store it in because it's just... Originally, it was just two really big bags full of makeup, and then that went on to be, uh, like, a whole drawer set full of makeup, and then another drawer set full of just, like, face products that I, I just, I've accumulated too much, and I tried selling it, um, I've sold some things, not a lot though, and I've even done sales where I do like lippies as low as 99 cents, and still nobody bought anything, which was really discouraging, because I was literally having a sale where I was just selling everything for 99 cents, and not one person bought anything, not one, so... I've kind of got discouraged, and I stopped going because it literally, I was going every night when my husband got off work, and I was just so exhausted afterwards, and it wasn't like I was doing it for me anymore because I already have so much makeup, like so much good makeup that I use, plus I don't use makeup that often unless I'm doing a video or going out, which I don't do often, so I had all this makeup, but I wasn't using it, and I just, I had... It wasn't like I needed anything else. There's things I wanted, but I didn't need them because, trust me, I have enough makeup. So I decided I haven't really gone. doesn't mean I won't go again because I do love dumpster diving. Like, this whole back wall behind me, everything on it is out of a dumpster. That I, that right there, the um, lamp, I wonder if you can see it, that is dumpster dived. It is in perfect condition. Nothing wrong with it. Just all of this stuff. I love dumpster diving. It's just the last week or so, last two weeks actually, it has been raining every day. So it's kind of hard to go when it's raining. Not to mention that when it's hot outside, it's hard to go. Like I've tried to go in the middle of the day. I burn myself on dumpsters. F that. So it's just like I don't get anything out of it. Plus I have enough makeup for myself. So I'd just be going for stuff to sell and nothing selling. So it's kind of like what is the point? With that being said, I'm going to show you, out of all the makeup that I found, what I've decided to keep and the products that I use the most, or pretty much just the products I use, period. So I'm going to go off and show you the biggest thing because it's on the top. This is the Morphe Palette 3502. This is, I will show you everything that is dumpster dive. I think there's two products in this whole thing that aren't dumpster dive, and I'll tell you what they are. It's just a lipstick and... The Kat Von D light and shade palette that I bought on sale at TJ Maxx. So this is what this looks like. It was in much rough condition, much rougher condition. You can see how there's like I had to clean it. This was this was in a um, soup box, but luckily it came out pretty unscathed. And I am wearing some of these colors today. Today's the first day I actually have worn this palette. I haven't used it yet, even though it's so pretty. I was gonna get rid of it. A couple weeks ago and then I was like no it's so nice I really oh I really I like it so I decided to keep it and I need to start playing with it so this is the first thing the biggest thing that I have um this is the palette that I bought and this is the lipstick it's just a butter London lipstick and pop explosive it's just it's like actually this is the first lipstick that I've gotten down to a nub like I am so proud I'm so proud um okay let's see everything else we got and that's my chapstick that doesn't count okay so this I haven't used much I did use it today but this is one of the newer things I found this is just the benefits pretty in the USA palette I'm going to show you what they look like on the inside so you can tell these are not like brand new products Oh, I just spilled some makeup on my computer. Um, as you can tell, 
it has pretty much this one is completely gone there's just a little bit of this one left and a little bit of that we have the color dandelion twinkle and rockateur so dandelion twinkle and rockateur there is enough to definitely be used not like enough to sell so it was useless for me to try to sell it next thing this is one of the first things i found and kept and i still use it i'm probably going to put this in like a makeup bag like for in my purse because this is the perfect size and it does happen to have like just enough colors to pretty much do anything with this is the tarte double duty beauty in happy girl shine happy girl shine brighter oh my god stop thank you see so like barely used really cute packaging nice and small another thing I might actually put in a makeup bag this is kind of heavy though this is way heavier than the other one this is the morphe palette in 9a I can't tell it had this was actually a display and they didn't take it off so I did I think it's 9a but I'll show you what it looks like perfect condition so this is another one that I, I use sometimes but it has like very like similar colors like all the colors kind of go together so but it's really nice it does have like I really like a nude eye anyway so it does kind of have all of that in one the only thing different with this one like it has like a nude eye but it also has like a blush and like a highlighter color which is really nice to have just in case you don't want to bring blush and highlighter. It has like everything kind of in one, which is really nice. Next thing I found. This is one of like one of the newer things I got, so I haven't really used this much. Actually, I did use it today for the first time, I think. This is the Too Faced Sweetheart's Bronzer. Does it say what color? Sweet Tea? I think it's in Sweet Tea. Fake Illuminating Glow Bronzer, and I'm guessing Sweet Tea. You can see it is pretty much all there. They just kind of... Actually, I can't tell how deep into the pot it goes. I need to sneeze. Um, but you can see, I'm guessing it popped out like these ones do over here, which I'll show you in a second. But I used this for the first time today. You can't really tell because lighting... Next thing is the... Too Faced Love Light. You light up my life. I don't know if I've actually used this. Yeah. This is pretty much all here. It just isn't attached. Like, you can even see the indents on the back. It has literally just fallen out. Oh my god, my hands are sparkly now. This is so pretty. This is the kind of one, like, yeah, I would just put this all over my body. This is so pretty. Oh my god, it's just like, oh, I love it. Fuck yeah. Makeup is amazing, you guys. The other one, just like that, which is, I'm guessing, was a display model because the back is literally not there, whereas, like, this one, you can see the back. This is, obviously, this is gold. This is rose gold. This is the blush. I don't act. Ooh, damn it, it's falling everywhere. There is a slight bit left in here, but it has broken up recently and is kind of falling everywhere. <sighs> I don't know what it's called. I apologize, but it's like the rose version of the last one I showed you in a blush and not a, um, is that a bronzer or a highlighter? Whatever it was. Two things that I use pretty much every day are the Tarte Shape Tape um, foundations. I have the hydrating foundation and the matte foundation. Today I used the hydrating foundation and I have been using this like in the winter and I really liked it. I used it today and I did not like it. As you can see I've kind of hit like, oh, you can't really see, but I've kind of like you can see through the container a bit where I've really been using it. So I think I'm going to start using the matte one because I do like the formula. I just think that being in Florida in the summer, you don't want to feel, look dewy because you're already going to look, at least for me, I'm already going to look dewy because I'm going to be sweating my ass off anyway. So I think it's best for me to start using the matte. So next time I'm definitely doing my face with the matte. I think I might be done this year with the dewy. So, oh, and I use the color medium neutral, which was my color when I was tan. Now that, um, I haven't really been outside as much because it's been raining a lot. I've lost a bit of my tan, but it still works. So I really, really like those. 
Do, do, do. This is new. I only use this for the first time today just to look at the colors. This is the Naked 2 Urban Decay Basics. Put the out. Oh. One of my colors just fell out. Oh no. But so you can see there's barely anything in here so I could not sell this. But I could definitely try it out. So that's what I did. Next one, which is also slightly new, but I really like it, um, it smells amazing, is the Too Faced Sweet Peach Glow, so, um, <laughs> the mirror's actually really covered in makeup, so it's not, I'm trying not to let all this fall out, but you can see there's a lot of the middle one, a little bit of this, this one, and there's like nothing of that one, but, oh, it smells so good, oh, it's so pretty. So good. So yeah, I'm just like getting makeup all over me for no reason because it's not like I'm showing you guys, but that's really nice. I really like the size of it. I really like these small palettes. These are perfect for, I wish this one was slightly smaller, but if you're doing blush, maybe not. It's still really nice and it smells, it smells so good. <laughs> what does that remind me of? Like, when I was a kid, I feel like Asian toys smelled sweet. Like, they tried to get Asian toys to smell good so kids would want to play with them or something. And I feel like this is what they smelled like. Like, if anybody understands what I'm saying, please let me know. Like, their racers and stuff. I don't know. I feel like that's what they smelled like. Okay, so this is not what is actually in here. This is the container for the Too Faced Rainbow Strobe, which is a rainbow strobe highlighter. What is in here is actually a rainbow highlighter that I bought from... I was talked into buying it at Sally's the other day, or like, not the other day, like, about a month ago or so, and it's just a basic, small rainbow highlighter. It was only like $2, and I was like, yeah, sure, I'll buy that. I don't have one of those yet, so I just keep it in here because this, sorry, this container was empty, but it was so pretty, like, I didn't just want to throw it away because it was empty, so... I decided to use it anyways. It's, it's gorgeous. Um, next thing doesn't actually have a container, but I do use it. I think this is the one I'm actually wearing today. Not that you can tell. This is out of the Glow Kit. This by Anastas the Anastasia Glow Kit. I'm not sure exactly which one. But this is Butterscotch, and it is all there. It literally was just, it just came out of the Glow Kit. So, I've been using it. I really like this one. I have to say, all the Anastasia, like, highlighters are amazing like I remember like watching all these videos of people talking about the Anastasia um highlighters I was like okay yeah great they're they're highlighters I get it they're they're good until I got one and I think the first one that I got that I really used is this one which is so empty and broken right now oh wait no this isn't Anastasia this is the Becca I meant the Becca ones are amazing, but in all reality, the Anastasia is just as good, so I really like both of them. But the Anastasia of Beverly Hills, no, this is Becca, fuck. The Anastasia of Beverly Hills is great. It's really good. It's what I'm wearing. The one that I started off with that everybody was talking about that I was like, okay, great, it's a, it's a highlighter, is the Becca... And, um, Champagne Pop, which is the first one I got, and I didn't really understand highlighter. I thought highlighter was so stupid until I got this highlighter. This is what I'm trying to show you without, like, spilling my favorite highlighter. It is all broken, and I've been using this, god damn, I'm spilling it everywhere, for so long. This stuff is so dreamy. I'm just gonna, like, oh, you can't see it. It's so pretty. I... I'm covered in highlight. You guys, can you see that? I am literally so shiny. Look like a damn fairy. And then the other one I have, I actually don't know if this is the one that's in here or if I put my broken one of that in here. But this is a small Becca highlighter in blushed copper. Oh my god. This is definitely not blushed copper because I know what blushed copper looked like. Blushed copper was red. This is definitely, I think this might, hold on. This might actually be an Anastasia in here. Because it definitely looks exactly like this one. Just in a slightly different color. I think this might be an Anastasia. I just wanted the container. Oh my god, it's so buttery. I really like the Anastasia. But I also really like the Becca. Fuck me. Oh 
I just want to, like, bathe in highlighter. I've seen people do the highlighter challenge where they, like, do a whole face of highlighter, and it looks really chalky, but I feel like if you did a whole face of, like, Becca or Anastasia, your face would just look amazing. Okay, next thing. Ooh, you know, this might be, like, my favorite bind that I use all the time. This is the Too Faced Better... Better Than False Lashes Extreme Mascara, which comes with the mascara and then the fibers. This mascara on its own is actually what I'm wearing today. It is amazing on its own, but with the fibers, it is ridiculous. Actually, am I? I, might, I think I put the fibers on today because I, I did it and it looked amazing. And then I sprayed my face with um, the thing you spray your face with at the end. And I felt like my, my lashes fell a little bit, so I did put this on but this stuff is so good I let my sister-in-law use it and she fell in love with it and she went to go buy it she said it was like $30 so then she didn't buy it but she told my mother-in-law about it so when I went to go see my mother-in-law the other day she was like hey I heard you have a mascara with fibers in it how much are you selling it for and I was like Fuck. I'd already told my sister my sister-in-law I wasn't gonna sell it to her but I felt I felt bad saying no to my mother-in-law, so I told her if she really wanted it, I'd sell it to her. So, this might be one of the last times I get to wear it. it makes it sound like I'm scared of my mother-in-law. I just really love my mother-in-law, so I might sell or just probably give her my favorite mascara. I'm a little heartbroken about it, but that's okay because oh, I have so many mascaras. But that is actually the only one that I have personally kept because I love it that much. I did put this one in the other day because if you've been watching my videos for a while, which I'm sure not one of you has, I got a Alme, um mascara in a Walmart box, I think it was, like years ago. And I love that shit so much. And so I happened to find an Alme thicker mascara and I decided I was going to try it out because I really like that one so I thought I'd try this Alme out. I haven't actually used it yet because I'm obsessed with the better than falsies but probably going to have to start using the Alme. Next thing I have kept because there was not enough of it to sell. I did have two other ones that had more that I was trying to sell that nobody bought but this is the why am I even going to try? Japonesqua. Yep, that's what we're going to go with. It's actually this. Can you read that? That is what it is. Um, it's just a highlighting like liquid. Literally says liquid, light, luminous, highlight, whatever. It's in the color 1 or 01. It's just a really pretty rose gold. It's gorgeous. It is pretty. It has sweet ass pump. I do love things that have pumps. Oh my god. Like, it's so nice. Um... It's just really pretty. I don't know why I just did that. I'm going to be so covered in makeup. But I'm going to glitter. Oh my god, my hands. <laughs> I wish, I wish you could see how pretty my hands look right now. Oh, they don't even look real. Okay, next thing. I am so mad. I brought this out to do my makeup today. And I realized my lid had fallen off and all my product inside dried up. But I do have another one of these over there that I might go steal out of my, like, selling stuff. Because I don't think, did somebody buy it? Somebody might have bought it. This is the Anastasia of Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in Soft Brown. I love this stuff. I thought people were stupid. I was like, dude, a brow product is just a brow product. Stop. It's not that amazing. It's that amazing. I've used other brow products, and then I found this, and I started using this. And I happen to actually have found the Anastasia brush that goes with it. I'm assuming this is a brush. This is an Anastasia Beverly Hills 7B. This is what I use with it. I actually, I want to say the one I use with it might be smaller. I might have another one over here. It doesn't matter. The point is, I've been using an Anastasia brush with the Anastasia um, pomade, and I love this shit. I don't have to do much to my brows. I am extremely lucky, but I love that shit. It's amazing. So... Yeah, I might check and see if I have another one. If not, I might be a little gutted. If you guys know how to make your gel 
um, your pomade like moist again so you can use it, please let me know down below because mine dried up and I'm just not happy. The next thing, this is literally like empty. By the way, the reason I didn't sell that one was because it was too empty to sell. So I, anything that's like too empty to sell that's like a really good brand, I usually just keep for myself. Like this. This is the Urban Decay Chill Setting Spray. That's the word I couldn't think of earlier. Setting Spray. Um, this is like, I don't know if you can hear it. It's like empty. So I'm using the last of that. It's the first setting spray I've ever used. I really like it. It's nice. Um, you do. I have two Bare Minerals. Actually, I think I used to have another one of these, but I used it. No, no. I gave it to a family member because I'm super nice. And these are in the color Soft Medium. I've have I don't, I've had other ones that I've sold. This is Soft Medium. It's pretty full. And this is just the original Mineral Veil, which I actually don't ever really use. Yeah, I don't ever use that. I don't know why I kept that. I should... I should do something else with that. Um, I also have this Bare Minerals. This is just a basic powder in Warm Neutral 12. I do use this sometimes. There's not much in it, so I couldn't sell it. That's why I kept it. Um, the other Bare Minerals I actually did keep for myself because I do like Bare Minerals. I also have the Bare Minerals Prime Time. I think I have another one of these somewhere. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Then I have some eyeliners, which I just couldn't really sell, a lip liner, and two lipsticks. These are both from, are these number sevens, or are these, I want to say these are number seven lipsticks. Do they say it on the side? Yeah, these are number sevens. Um, these didn't have lids. These are, like, I found, like, four that didn't have lids. Most of them had lids. I had, like, for that didn't, and these two are the only colors that I liked. Obviously, I could put lids on any one, but I had doubles of these, and I liked these colors, so I decided to keep them. This one is in Spiced Latte. It is gorgeous. I'm actually wearing both of these today. You can't tell anymore. They probably looked better earlier. And then this one is in Berry Blush. I'm pretty sure I do this one on the inside of my lips and this one on the very outside. So, like, just that. I don't know. I'm doing this right now. Like, barely touch my lips with it. And then I do the inside of my lip with this one. And I feel like when I do that, it makes my lips look bigger. So, yeah. Um, these are the only two lipsticks I actually have in here, except for a knockoff Kylie Jenner lip kit that I bought off of Wish. And, yeah, that is it. The only other thing I have, which I have started using, is this Clinique. Uh, la, la, uh, dramatically different moisturizing gel. I actually used to use this when I was in middle school. My mom bought it for me. This shit's amazing. So when I found this and it had, like I said, it has just a small amount in it. I couldn't sell that. So I get to reap that. Um, that is all the makeup that I've actually kept. It's not like a whole bunch. Like I do try to sell most of the makeup. If it is in good enough condition to sell, I do try to sell it. But like I was saying, nobody was buying. So I was wondering if you guys would like me to do, I saw um, another dumpster driver do this with like things that weren't makeup. Well, they did it with everything they found, but I have a ton of makeup. So I was wondering if you guys would want me to like post on like eBay random bags of makeup that have like a bunch of stuff in it and like set them for like $20 and then if you guys would want to buy them so let me know down below if you guys would be into like mystery makeup bags just excuse me just know I'm pretty sure all the makeup is going to be dumpster dive makeup so if you guys are into that let me know down below and we might start that as a thing so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, let me know out of, if you are a dumpster diver, what's your favorite thing that you've ever found? And out of all the things that I have, what is your favorite thing? And I'll see you guys in the next video. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Please leave a comment down below if you are interested in the, like, surprise makeup boxes, gives away things. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Bye!